I got a question for you. Have you ever been browsing through Guitar Center used and seen the absolute plethora of really cheap guitars they have on there? You can find a lot of guitars on Guitar Center used for under $100, one of them notably being the Epiphone Les Paul Jr. A lot of these were famously seen with the Rocksmith games, but it's also a really affordable way to get into the Les Paul Jr. realm. The only problem that a lot of people seem to have is that they're a bolt-on. Not that that's inherently bad in itself, but when you think of a Les Paul or even an SG or any kind of Gibson or Epiphone model, you typically think of a set neck. But I decided that I wanted to break the stigma, so when I saw this on Guitar Center used for $90, I just absolutely had to have it. <laughs> This video is sponsored by me and my Teespring store. Some of you may know that I did a soft rebranding of the channel recently, which just means that I updated my logo. But with an updated logo comes updated merch. So I went and updated my merch. It's still all the same great products that you can expect from Teespring's shirts, hats, stickers, bags, all kind of good stuff, all just with my new logo on it. The products all come in a myriad of different colors. There's a link in the description. Every single purchase that I get through my Teespring store goes right back into the channel to help bring you guys great content. So what are you waiting for? If you want to support the channel in any other way besides just subscribing and liking the video, all that good YouTube stuff, make sure you check out the link in the description to my Teespring store. I really, really appreciate it. Now, back to the video. So the question I would like to pose is, are these bolt-on Les Pauls worth it? Are they any good? I've had this particular guitar for probably about two weeks now. And I can tell you that I was one of those people that was like, no, it's gotta be the set neck. It's gotta be a real Les Paul. It's, it, you know, I no bolt-ons, it's all garbage. I can tell you with absolute certainty from having this guitar to experience it in my own time and to kind of get to know it. These bolt-on Les Pauls, these little cheap bolt-on Les Pauls are amazing guitars to have kicking around. For me, it's the way that they bolt them on. They're kind of out of the way. It's not real big and blocky as maybe like a Fender would be. So getting up to these higher frets, I kind of always thought that there would be this big block of metal in the way. You can definitely feel it, but it's not really any different than playing a regular Les Paul. <laughs> Obviously, this one is pretty unique right from the get-go. So as you can see from the headstock, this is in fact an Epiphone Les Paul Jr. The Epiphone logo looks a tad bit different. That's because this one is an Indonesian made one, made in around 1997, which I've never played an Indonesian Epiphone before, so this is interesting. At first glance when I saw this, I thought it was one of the 57 reissues, but I had a really good friend in a Facebook group pretty much point out to me that because of the headstock and all that kind of stuff, it more than likely was going to be the bolt-on neck Indonesian kind of cheapo made guitar, which it in fact was, but this one comes with a couple different perks. <laughs> Thank you. 
One of the perks of this one is it looks like it has upgraded tuners. These don't look like cheap tuners at all. They look like they're pretty good and you can actually tell that they were changed because of the pre-existing screw holes on the back here. But I love like this Cluson style kind of vintagey look to it. It's got these smaller kind of knobs, more akin to what you might find on like a Squire classic vibe or like an older kind of vintage correct Fender. But I really like the way that it looks on this particular guitar. One of the most impressive things that I saw about this guitar was the neck. Look at this absolutely gorgeous neck right up to the back of the headstock too. This thing is probably the most beautiful neck I have ever seen, especially on something this affordable and of just this kind of, you know, you see a bolt on Les Paul and you're like, oh, that's cheap. I mean, that neck, it looks and it plays and feels as good as it looks. Let's put it that way. It looks and feels amazing. <laughs> The frets on this one, they're a little dented, uh, if I'm honest. They probably could use like a re-level, something like that. They're not high, they're just, clearly someone played it a lot. But, you really can't feel it in bends or anything like that. I've already polished this and done all my kind of setup and stuff to it. But this is a really nice playing neck. And again, the frets, they are a little dented, but you can't feel them in bends. It doesn't affect the playability all that much. It's a really, really nice guitar thus far. So moving on down to the body. As you can tell, this is not the original color. In fact, I have no idea what the original color of this guitar was. If I had to guess, it was probably black. And this one's the cool one because it comes stock with the Dog Ear P90. And I have pulled this P90 out since I've gotten the guitar. It is the stock Epiphone P90 and it sounds really, really nice. But again, going back to the body. So someone has obviously refinished this and kind of relicked it, if you will, uh, in this beautiful kind of TV yellow-esque finish. And I'll get some close-up shots here because if you take a look at the wood underneath all of this like relic job kind of deal, it's a really nice piece of wood under there. And because this is like the special kind of deal, it's not a arch top, it's that real flat slab body is what they usually call these. It's, it's really comfortable to play and I'm, again, I'm usually all for like the full fat body Les Pauls. And this is really, really comfortable. I'm really, really surprised that I like this as much as I do. One volume, one tone, wrap around bridge, kind of all of the standard junior appointments here. You can see on the back, you probably saw it earlier when I was showing you this absolutely beautiful neck. Got the bolt-on plate here with the serial number, which apparently, I think the S in here stands for Samic, like the factory, and then the I is Indonesia. And it says 98 after that, which I assume is the year. So I said 97 earlier, it's like 97, 98, somewhere right around that region. Then the other really cool thing that this thing has is someone upgraded the pots on it. So it's got CTS pots in it, 250K CTS pots, and then it's got that really big thick capacitor in there. So really, really cool guitar, really cool find. As much as I have ranted and raved about Guitar Center, I implore you to, to explore their use section because sometimes you will find gems in the rough kind of like this. <laughs> So the next time that you're on Guitar Center used, or just kind of anywhere in general, you can find these things in pawn shops a million times over there, a dime a dozen in pawn shops. Pick one up, try it, because you'll probably be pleasantly surprised. And then again, if you look hard enough, especially for these older ones, you may just find this absolutely gorgeous neck. I don't know if someone sanded it down, it doesn't feel like it, but again, looking at the wood underneath on the body, it looks like the same kind of wood. So maybe someone did, I don't know. But a lot of people like to buy these, mod them up, kind of do all kind of stuff to them. I think that they're 100% worth it because again, you can find these things for right around $100 used, sometimes even less. And you can find them with P90s or humbuckers. I mean, obviously the P90 is the way to go, right? The humbuckers are cool, don't get me wrong, but if you're gonna get a Les Paul Jr., try to find one with a P90 or at least fit it with a humbucker size P90, something like that. Do what you want. That's just kind of my opinion. But again, these are super 
dupe of fun guitars. Don't scoff at these cheap Epiphone Les Pauls, these Juniors, the SGs, none of that, because just because they're a bolt-on, they're, they're really, really nice. So that's the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like the content, make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, all that kind of good stuff. Check the links in the description for my Teespring store if you want to go and support the channel in any other way besides just subscribing. I've been Jonathan. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.